Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. This video is on hydrogen ion concentration and microorganism. So in this video we are going to study the details about hydrogen ion that is the pH and the effects of this hydrogen ion on microorganism types of microorganism on the basis of hydrogen ion concentration so let's start with it let's start with introduction ph is defined as negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration so ph is nothing but negative logarithmic value of hydrogen ion concentration therefore the ph is equal to negative log of h plus ions that is ph is equal to log of 1 by hydrogen ion concentration the hydrogen ion concentration can be used to measure the degree of acidity and alkalinity now here we are studying everything about microorganisms and when we consider microorganisms they require a growth media for its growth and each and every growth media has its own specific ph okay so the ph of these media is measured by measuring the degree of acidity and alkalinity and this measurement is done by hydrogen ion concentration so the ph is measured further ph has a scale of measurement and the scale of ph ranges from 0.0 to 14 so the scale starts from 0.0, .0 to the value of 14 now imagine this is the scale of ph it starts from 0 and ends at 14 at the center there is a value that is 7 and this is called as neutral ph value now when we go beyond 7 towards 0 the acidity increases and these values are called as acidic values now when we go above 7 to 14 the ph increases to alkalinity and this ph value are called as alkaline values now in general the ph range for the growth of microorganism is from 1 to 11.5 so this is the growth range of ph in this growth range all microorganisms can grow now below and above this range of ph growth of microorganism is not possible so below 1 there is no growth of microorganism and above 11.5 the growth of microorganism is also not possible now each microorganism has a ph value for its growth and that is so each and every microorganism have its specific pH value and there are three types of pH values minimum pH value, optimum pH value and maximum pH value. Now let's see them one by one. The first one is minimum pH value. Now it is the lowest pH value below which there is no growth of microorganism. So below this minimum value of pH there is no growth of microorganism. The second one is optimum pH value. It is a pH value at which there is maximum growth of microorganism. So at this pH value, the growth of microorganism is to the maximum level. And the third one is maximum pH value. It is the highest pH value above which there is no growth of microorganism. So above this maximum pH value, there is no growth of microorganism. Now when we talk about microorganisms and hydrogen ion concentration, this pH value have a great effect on growth of microorganisms. Now especially when we talk about bacteria, bacteria contains outer covering layer that is cell wall and cell membrane. This pH ion concentration affects the cell wall as well as the cell membrane and it may affect the ability that is the cellular stability and permeability of the cells further it also affects the ability of a cell to interact with the wants and unwanted metabolic products now during the cell transportation system 
various metabolic products are taken inside the cell as well as given outside the cell now the cell has the ability to identify which product they want to take inside the cell and which product they don't want to take inside the cell now this hydrogen ion concentration they affect this ability of a cell further hydrogen ion concentration affects the metabolites inorganic salts and electrical charges that are present on the surface of the cell now on the surface of the cell that is the cell, it may be cell wall or cell membrane on the surface of the cell there are various metabolic products present okay as well as there are inorganic ion salts electrical charges all these things get affected by this ph values now further at low ph the solubility of some ion increases and that ions may be toxic to the growth of microorganisms now what happened due to increase in stability these ions get easily permeated or we can say they can easily enter inside the cell and from these ions some ions may be toxic to that cell and they may inhibit the growth of that particular microorganism further whereas at alkaline ph some salts get precipitated and these salts may be harmful to that microorganisms now we all know bacteria contains salts also and at alkaline ph what happens these salts start precipitating and after precipitation they form a layer inside the cell and due to which they may be harmful for that microorganism further the change in ph can be prevented by addition of buffer now buffer is a chemical substance which resists the change in ph that is it controls the changes in ph and tries to maintain the ph at a certain certain value so buffer resists the change in ph and this change in ph the changes in the ph are can be prevented by addition of the buffers now buffer is a mixture of its weak acid and its base so any weak acid and its base are used for preparation of a buffer now generally the phosphate buffers are used see the phosphate buffers are mostly used to maintain the change in ph at neutral side now the examples are k2hpo4 and kh2po4 on the basis of hydrogen ion concentration there are basically three types of microorganisms or we can say microorganisms are categorized in three types on the basis of hydrogen ion concentration the first one is acidophilic or we can say acidophiles these microorganisms prefer acidic ph for their growth the second is neutrophilic or we can say neutrophiles these microorganisms prefer neutral ph for their growth and the third one is alkalophilic and alkalophiles so these microorganism prefer alkaline ph for their growth now let's see this microorganisms one by one the first one is acidophiles the microorganisms that prefer a ph range of 1 to 6 for their growth are called as acidophiles so the microorganisms that grow in a ph range of 1 to 6 are called as acidophiles mostly yeast fungi and algae have acidic growth ph now yeast and fungi have a optimum ph that is 5 to 6 now see yeast fungi and algae they grow in acidic ph that is in the range of 1 to 6 from that yeast and fungi have optimum ph where their maximum growth takes place and that ph is 5 to 6 whereas the optimum ph for algae is 4 to 8.5 now many lakes bogs and forests have moderate acidic ph that is 3 to 5.5 which favors the growth of acidic microorganisms so this areas where there is a moderate acidic ph there most of the acidic microorganisms can grow easily now further the microorganisms which survive in extreme acidic ph are called as extreme acidophilic microorganisms so the microorganisms that survive in the maximum acidic ph value we can say in maximum acidic conditions are called as extreme acidophilic microorganisms 
the extreme acidophilic microorganisms are found in the environments like hot acid spring volcanic lakes pile effluents mine effluents and salt water lakes the examples of this acidophiles or acidophilic microorganisms are thiobacillus thioxidans clamidomonas sulfolobus bacillus acido caldarius thiobacillus peroxidans Second one is neutrophiles. The microorganisms that prefer a pH range of 6 to 8 for its growth are called as neutrophiles. So the microorganisms that grow near the neutral pH range that is near the neutral pH that is 7 are called as neutrophiles. Examples of neutrophiles are Escherichia coli, Staphylococcus aureus, Pseudomonas aeruginosa. The third one is alkalophiles. The organisms which prefer a pH of 8.5 to 11.5 for their growth are called as alkalophiles. So the microorganisms which prefer alkaline pH which ranges from 8.5 to 11.5 are called as alkalophiles or alkalophilic microorganisms. Now these alkalophilic microorganisms are present in alkaline environments. like soda lakes alkaline springs soda deserts further the examples of alkalophiles are bacillus cyanobacter and flavobacterium now the microorganisms that are present in highly alkaline environment of ph value 10 or more than that are called as extreme halophilic bacteria so the microorganisms which are which are able to survive above the ph value of 10 or more are called as extreme halophilic bacteria this was all about hydrogen ion concentration and microorganisms if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching